Back in March, good friend Kevin Erickson and myself planned the ultimate ice fishing tour. Eight days on four of Manitoba's best trout lakes. We had no idea what we were in for. Look at oh them size man. it up. Look at this. Oh man. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second half of the Lake Trout Tour. We are touring northern Manitoba, touring some of the top lake trout lakes, and we're on lake number three of four. We are on Kississing Lake, and we're all set up. I got Kevin Erickson in the shack. He's been sticking it out with me. This is, this is quite the road trip. It'll probably be 10 or 12 or 13 days in total. First lake, second cranberry, did well. Caught a bunch of trout, got some incredible underwater footage. Uh, first time fishing the lake. Next two days we spent on Athapap and we got our butts kicked. And I, it's not the easiest lake to fish, but it has giants and we'll certainly be back. But yeah, you gotta work for them. We saw what we thought was a monster on the camera, couldn't get it to bite. But now we're on Kississing, home of giant orange finned trout. These have some of the biggest fins on any trout I've seen. These are some of the prettiest trout in Manitoba. I haven't been here in, well, last time I ice fished here was nine years ago with Aaron and Manny, one of our first Uncut Angling ice fishing videos. Amazing memories. Now back ice fishing. So last time I was here in a boat was three years ago. And as I was driving up here, I was like, I'm a little bit worried. Like, I don't know exactly where I want to fish, where I want to set up. And when I turned my Helix on this morning, I realized that I had saved my auto charting from three years ago. But when I drive around, I often keep my auto charting turned on no matter what, even if I'm not marking a specific spot for situations like this. You can see this big island behind us. We're set up on the big tip of the point. It comes out to like 40, 50 feet and we're kind of like set around the edge of it here with tip ups and everything else. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get to fishing. We got two days here and then we're headed to the last stop on our trout tour, Clearwater Lake. Oh, look at that, look at that. We're on, we're on. I'm falling asleep. I, I think Can I you was, see that? I think I was just hit too. Really? Yeah. We're falling asleep. Here, Kevin, I'm gonna give you the vlog cam. Oh, we're close. This might be the first trout. Oh, that's not a trout. This is turning into the burbot tour slowly. Got him unhooked. That is what we call a little burbot ball right there. Going back, but we're on the board. Cause this thing has monster burbot, like a lot of the lakes do on this tour. So this is what I'm using. So just trying to put a trout on the board. We got, uh, I think this is called the Berkeley Fusion Head with a Dragon Slayer, five and a half inch on the back. And then a little bit of Cisco belly on it. That's what's going down. Give us a bite. Yes, he's on. He's on. It's been quiet, but Keevan is hooked up. Keevan. It's a nicer, nicer. Is it a feel. lake trout? Yeah, it's a lake trout. It's a nicer feeling one too. About time, we were marking some stuff. There's a lot of it, pretty big dead zone here with how steep the drop off is. Keevan is focused right now. I'm laser focused because we've been working hard for this fish. What do we got? Uh oh, still there? Is he big? He might be of a decent size. Not, a, not like massive, massive, but. He's like fighting hard all of a sudden. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that burbot. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look that's... at the size of this bourbon. What? <laughs> that is massive. Wow. wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is huge. I don't even know how long this is, but this is huge. Well over a Manitoba Master Angler. We're throwing that one on the bumper. We have sure. to. Look at that bourbon. He just keeps going. 35, just over 35. That is the oh, biggest bourbon I've ever seen. Wow. It just doesn't end. Like, <laughs> no, it just keeps going. She's gone. <laughs> right on, oh, man. Yeah! Woo! Huge, huge. Wow, that was amazing. I don't know what to say. I was not expecting that. No. When I saw it, I was confused what the head was because it was like... We saw the head come up and I was like, that's not a Laker. That's the biggest bourbon I've ever seen. We mentioned that this spot had some big bourbon. That's not what we're targeting. We're not using baits for bourbon, but uh, they eat Laker bait sometimes. Hey, we're in a fishy area and the next fish could be a big lake trout. He's on it. Yeah. Oh, he ate it. Never was. Did you think it was a little Laker maybe? A little bourbon? I don't know. You got him? Yeah. Keevan is hooked up again. That is the face of a champion right there. Yeah, if I had to guess. Another burbot. Well, we will take our time. We will catch this burbot and then we will pack up and move. Cause we got Lakers to catch. This isn't the burbot tour. It's becoming the burbot tour, but we need to find ourselves a good lake trout. 
Oh, you just lost him? Did you see it? No, you hooked the bottom of the ice. I'm pretty sure that was a perfect. <laughs> Nothing to say. Can't catch them all, Jake. When we planned this trip, we stacked the odds in our favor by picking four of the top big trout producers in Manitoba. Every day, we were reminded that even on the best of waters, every encounter with a trophy-sized fish is a gift. While we laid our eyes on the giants we saw on social media and hanging on the walls of the lodges, we knew that we'd continue to log hours and put in the work to hopefully find what we were looking for. And we're set up again. That probably took 45 minutes, maybe longer. A little bit. You know the drill, two set lines, two jigging rods, Keevan Erickson in the shack, just living the dream. Couple guys being dudes. Couple deadly dudes. <laughs> I don't care where you're fishing for lake trout. Chumming is just so good. It brings in fish, sometimes right away. Sometimes, maybe not the target species. We got some tulipy we're cutting up. You know, you just take a handful and throw it down the hole. It's that simple. That's no perch. Yep, yeah, we're on. It is small. Might be our first, this is tiny. It could be a perch, I don't even know. A little lake trout maybe. We even caught a trout in a couple days. We're struggling. Come wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're catching everything. <laughs> everything else. That's not what we're going for. We just need, just need that one bite. Big orange fins, like 38 inches. I'll be good at that. Oh, we're struggling. We knew that it would be a struggle. You know, no trout, that's okay. Massive burbot, pick a part of different part of the lake tomorrow, I'm not sure. New spots tomorrow. Howdy. What day is it today? It's my birthday. It's Kevin's <laughs> birthday! <laughs> How old are you? 25. 25? Quarter century. Is there anywhere you'd rather be than Sharon's Outfitting? Realistically, no, how does it get any better than <laughs> Northern Manitoba Lake Trout for your birthday? There you go, check it out guys. We are at Sharon's Outfitting in Sheridan. Sheridan's a little town, kind of in the middle of nowhere on the shores of Kississing Lake. Uh, and shout out to Sharon's for putting us up. Uh, this is a massive cabin. Big old kitchen. Keep in mind that we've cleaned up just for this shot. So there's a lot messier beforehand. This is my little camera table. We got, we got what, three bedrooms? Bunk beds. How many people could you sleep here? One, two, three. Four, five, six, I don't know, a lot. Our snowmobiles are running right now. It's literally a 15 second ride and we're on the lake. But we may be meeting up with some friends, Joey and Brittany, I don't know if you remember them, from last fall when we were doing some uh, some pike and laker fishing on Athapap. They took me out pike fishing and they had a pretty good day laker fishing yesterday. So they said, hey Jay, do you wanna join us because you suck at fishing? And I said, yes. So I'm gonna take any help I can get. They offered uh, they offered that we join them. So I was like, well, they're on fish. Uh, I'm gonna swallow my pride and hopefully we catch some fish with them. So we're probably gonna hit one spot on our own first and then whenever they get going, we'll meet them on the ice. That was a lot of talking. Today is our last day on Kississing and we need to catch a trout. Look at that. Come on. Just hold it still for him, I don't know. Yes! Finally! Oh, I just dead sticked it. Okay, Keevan. I'm gonna try to... This feels like a pretty heavy fish. I'm gonna yeah. this. I'm gonna try to get my line up. There we go. Hit. Hit. Right here. Oh, did we play with that fish. Oh guys, it's been a while since we've hooked a trout and that trout was not like the other ones. That fish was not hanging near the bottom. He was suspended. Keevan worked him for a while. We played with that fish so long. Come on guys, we need to break this slump. We got a burbot, what? That was insane, he was suspended 20 feet under the ice. We have struggled. We see the suspended mark and this is what it is. A big old burb. Well, I think we're gonna plan a Burbot trip back on Kississing. They seem to be everywhere. That was insane. <laughs> 20 feet under the ice and 60 feet of water, we catch a burbot. We are gonna break this trout slump yet, I'm telling you, but it's not easy. 
Oh my goodness. We've been spending a lot of time in that shack, even and I, getting some quality time in, that's for sure. There's the rest of the crew. We set up a little ways from them. But uh, they've had three trout today. They've had uh, two 34 inchers and a 31 incher, which is great. We haven't had a trout on yet, or seen a trout. I, I don't know, we're, we're just having, I mean, this has been slower for them as well, a bit of a different weather system. Not that that's a great excuse, but I'm just hoping for a last minute miracle when that sun gets low. Our time at Kiss This Thing is coming to an end and this is not a good indication of fishing here. And, and I knew planning, you know, a day or two per location would be tough on this tour, but uh, sometimes you need a little more time to dial in the fish. Joey and crew did much better in our same time here, but hey, that's fishing. They were nice enough to invite us to fish near them today and hopefully it'll pay off in the end. We've been chumming like crazy. We've got, there's one iFish Pro, there's the other iFish Pro, and there is Keevan Erickson. Another fishing pro. <laughs> I need to see what a trout looks like. I haven't seen a trout in so long. There's ocean fishing there. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Yep. Joey and Matt. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so good. We got the master. 35 and a half. half. Amazing. There we go. Bye bye, master. Oh. No. Nice fish, Joe. Good job, Woo! buddy. All right, show me the hot bait. All right, this I'm gonna tie this on for the last hour. What'd you call it, the fuzzy? TC Moto Meathead. TC Moto Meathead, nice strong hook, awesome. All right, thank you guys. There you go. That's the one, for that's for Keevan. Yeah, you guys have been lighting them up. We've been struggling. <laughs> guys, if you want to see what is possible on Kissasing, Head over to Weaver's Bent Rods. Is that your channel? Yeah, Weaver's Bent Rods. There you go. He's he's been filming. They've been on the fish a little better than we have been. They we both had a bit of a slower day today, but that was a sweet fish that Joe just caught. Brittany waved us down. You can see the drone footage for waving. So then I ripped over. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Thanks to these guys for letting us fish near them, and uh, we still got time to catch a big one. So this is our last evening on Kissasing, and then we're moving on. Well, as much as. Keevan or I would like to catch a trout. It was pretty sweet to see Joey's big one, 35 and a half inch. Those guys, they're good. They put in a lot of time on this lake. They absolutely deserve it. Great people, great anglers, and they gave me some jigs, and Keevan as well. So this is what caught it. This TC Moto tinsel jig, I forget what they call it. But hey, I'll give it a shot. They said just a piece of meat, and they're kind of bumping bottom with it. So we got half an hour left. It is still prime time, and who knows? But if not, I got to see a big fish. I got to photograph a big fish, and uh, yeah, things are good. Snowbill's running, it's time to go. But we will be back to Sharon's. Thank you for hosting us. And tomorrow morning we're headed bright and early to Evergreen Lodge on Clearwater Lake. And that is where we're ending this whole thing off. With a bang. Pa pow pa pow Well, we got some really good news. We got some really bad news. The good news is we're now on the shores of Clearwater Lake at Evergreen Resort. A great place to be. The bad news, Keevan dropped his snowmobile key out of his pocket at Sharon's Resort. He called them and luckily they found it and they were able to meet him halfway. But yeah, it's about a two and a half hour drive away is where he dropped his key. So they were actually headed to Flin Flon. They were able to meet him at the turnoff. He's going there right now to pick up his key so he can drive his snowmobile. I'm gonna head out already. I'm getting all packed up by myself and uh, I'm gonna set up camp for the next couple days. We need to end this with a bang. We've been struggling. We have been struggling, guys. I just had a good chat with Ken. He gave us uh, some advice and hopefully that advice turns into a big lake trout. Here we go. Ice fishing for lake trout can be a tough game. While seeking out active fish by running and gunning can bring success, other times, setting up camp at a high percentage spot and chumming can be most effective. And that was our game plan once again. It was our final stop of the tour, Clearwater Lake. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are out in the middle of nowhere, no man's land. 
Uh, we're fishing a big 60 foot flat out here. It drops off to 80, 90 on the edges. And 60 is just a depth I like for Lakers. 60 is like my confidence depth. 60 to 65, that's money. We're still waiting on Keevan. Hopefully he finds me out here. I gave him the waypoint, so who knows? Clearwater Lake kicking off right now. Well, as you can see, we are set up. You can see all the chum there. We're waiting for some fish to come in. We got the FS5. We got the Mr. Heater. We got the Vexlar. We got the bait. I do hear a snowmobile. Maybe it's Kevin. I, I don't know how it took him this long to come back, but I'm pretty sure this is him. Probably got a little bit of a story to tell. What a time. <laughs> Did we learn anything today, Kevin? That the uh, Clearwater Lake is big. <laughs> Do you bring food? I got food. Good. I even bought some chips, some more <laughs> chips. Do you like queso dip? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> There's some cheese dip that, so the dip's no good anymore. Well, we could probably scoop it over there. This tour's kind of falling apart, Kevin. <laughs> Where's this jig even coming from? The snow is falling. Even is washing cheese out of the side of his, inside of his snowmobile cover. It is a whiteout right now, look at this. Can't see anything other than Keevan and his cheese. So much cheese. All right, we're headed back to the shack to stare at that glorious Aquaview screen. You hooked up? Yep. Keevan is hooked up. Lots of little head shakes. I don't know, it seems different than the burbot. I'm me. thinking little burbot. I'm thinking little trout. Really? Maybe little burbot. We haven't seen a trout in a long time. What do we got, Keevan? He's in the deucer. Little trout. Little trout! Show me what a trout looks like, man. Hold it up a little higher. Let's make it look big. <laughs> that is our first trout in a couple days. A couple days, we'll just say a couple days. Oh, it's nice. We're back on the board now. The rest are gonna come easy. Oh, it's gonna come easy now. Maybe they're uh, maybe they're starting to move in. Nighttime lake trout. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we did work for that one. We did. We really did. But I knew right away that was a laker. Just slammed it. That was so different than the rest of the fish we were messing around with. So I think there's a fish on me. Is there? He's chewing on it. Look at that. Oh, how's it feel? Uh, it's not tiny. We are hooked up. Fish are fighting. It's been a while to fight a fish. It could be a lake trout, I don't know. It's kind of semen burbot like. In my big comfy chair, heater's on high. We got a dirty burb. Look at that. That's a burbot belly. Everything's happening tonight. I'm going back to the depth. Catching fish. The lake trout, like, lakers like to eat burbots, so I mean, having the whole food chain here is good. Anything could happen. Oh, hello. What time is it? Oh, it is almost supper time, <laughs> AKA 11.37 at night. <laughs> what are you cooking? <laughs> oh, I'm just cooking some elk smokies. They're on the, on the barbie. Then we got some bacon frying up. Thank you guys for following along, enduring our pain with us. We've probably condensed everything very short so you don't have to endure the, the 10 hours we might've endured, but we're one bite away from everything turning around. That bite's coming tomorrow morning. Good morning. 7.30, half an hour till sunrise. Uh, yeah, this is it guys. I keep saying that, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, well, doesn't happen today. We'll probably add an extra day to this trip. We're gonna catch a big one today and it's gonna be momentous. We will see you guys at the shack in three, two, one. And we're back on the ice. Uh, this is our earliest start yet, uh, which is good. The fish didn't touch our chum last night. There's a big pile of chum, which is surprising because there's so many burbot moving in. Well, let's hope for a miracle today, guys. Anything can happen, Keevan. Anything can happen. Like a 38 inch trope. 39. 39? Hours. 39 hours.
All right, guys, if you remember back to the first video, I had some uh, some pointers on catch and release and some things to help the well-being of the fish. Guys, these fisheries, Clearwater, all these northern lake trout lakes and just all across Manitoba, they're getting a lot of pressure. Uh, there's a lot of publicity and that's good. It's great. It's bringing a lot of people to Manitoba, but we want to protect these incredible fisheries and catch and release is so incredibly effective but there's a couple a couple key things that can make it that much better and as anglers it's our duty to help educate others and I want to give you some pointers that have been passed on to me over the years just to lessen the odds of a delayed mortality because sometimes when you release that fish that fish may die a couple days later and you may not know that so there's a couple ways you can help stack the odds in your favor for that fish surviving first thing have the proper gear I'm using a heavy action rod 30 pound test Go heavy, there's there's no reason to be fishing with light gear for the fight, no. Even with heavy gear, it's still gonna be a big battle. Once you land that fish, it's handling it. Keep him in the water as much as you can, unhook him in the water. That fish, from measuring to taking the picture, should not be out for more than 30 seconds, and it should be even shorter if it's cold outside. If there's a chance of the eyes or fins freezing, just fish in the shack and keep the fish in the shack. There's no reason to bring it, no reason to bring it outside for a photo. Um, having the tools with you, that's another thing that's important. Bring the bump board with you. Bring bring the pliers, bring your camera, have everything ready so when that moment happens, there's, there's no running back and leaving a fish laying there on the ice flipping. And then when you're holding that fish up for the picture, support them. Hold them with a second hand. Vertical holds are a thing of the past or holding fish by the eyeballs, depending on the type of fish. If it's maybe a small mouth, hold them in the mouth, support them by the belly. If it's a pike, hold them between the gill and the gill rakers and then support them underneath there. It's a nice handle, but never put your hands into the gills. Yeah, hopefully those are a couple pointers that help you. You wanna come in? Yeah, sure. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Whoa. That looks big. That is big. That looks big. That is huge. You could... Come on, he's nose down on my bait. He just ate it. Yes! Oh! Yes! That's... <laughs> Oh, I lost him! No! I lost him! No! <laughs> Unreal! That was big! That was oh! <laughs> that was oh, big. that was it! <laughs> oh, that was big! He came right for my jig. Take care. Thank yeah, you. It was good seeing you. Yeah. That was the fish. That's the fish that we fished the last six days for. He came in, ate the jig perfectly, slammed him, three head shakes, and got off. I don't know what to say. I am mad. Um, we just got checked by conservation. That's who we were talking to in the shack. Good to see they're doing their thing. How many more days are you willing to spend here? I'm willing to spend every day that it takes to catch a big one. We're defeated once again. Morale is just dropping and dropping and dropping. We had a big one hooked at least, but uh, we're gonna extend our trip another day and maybe it'll happen. What day is it, Keevan? It's the uh, day we catch a big trout. <laughs> I hope. Oh. I think we're just gonna pull the pin today. We, uh, we're pretty much out of groceries, out of propane. And yeah, I think I think this cabin's booked up after today. So we're ready staying next day than we thought we were going to. We chummed a new spot last night. We're making a big move. That's all I got. While the morale was low, we kept adding days onto our trip. It had been a grind, but we saw glimpses of our goal every day, a big trout. One last day to make it happen, and this was it. Oh. Come on. Good sign, I just see it. Come on, it's a really good sign. Mom, baby, saw our first trout in the morning. Didn't look small. No, that was a good trout. He zoned in on my bait. Yeah, he did. He's all, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Always close to my line. Oh. oh. Did he touch it? I think so. Oh, he's not done. He's not done. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I've never been so nervous. My, She's coming to yours. Just let him eat it. Oh, he hit my line. Oh, no. That's okay. Oh, no. He's around. He just, I felt my line just get hit. Oh, that felt like a deer walking out of the woods. Okay, we are set up. Um, 
We got a big fish moving around. We don't know if it's big, but it's a fish. It's big. We're, we're, is, <laughs> you think it's big? Well, it's not small. <laughs> <laughs> it was so ready to commit a couple times. That's great. That's one of the best signs we've seen yet. Morale has is up again. This fish is hanging around. It's gonna eat either one of our jigs or one of our dead baits on the bottom. It's just a matter of time. Hopefully there's more. Hopefully there's not just that one. We're feeling good. Everything's set up. This is it. Was it there for there a while? It is, there it is, there it is. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. I don't think that's small. No, I don't think so. That might be the one from before. The fins, when you see like the, it the looks white the on the edge of the yeah. fins. It looks the same as the other one. He's there. Are you high? No, that's him. Oh my goodness, Kevin, you gotta wait. He's gonna eat it. He just ate it. Slam him, slam him. I don't think it was in his mouth. Do you think he ate yours? I think he ate a piece of chum. He didn't really take off too fast, did he? No. That looks big. My heart is just pounding. I think I... Oh! He's still there. He's still there. He's still have, I don't have any bait on, so you... I'll catch him. Looks like I still have the meat on there. Eh? Yeah, you do. Oh! Like, he just charged right at I don't know how that didn't... I guess we just gotta wait. Yeah. I'm gonna cry if we catch this fish. <laughs> I will. I'm so, I'm just so emotional. <laughs> just, I feel very emotional right now. So something we've learned from staring at the camera, and that's the cool thing about the AquaView, is you stare at it all day and you learn fish activity and behavior. And they don't want it moving, they want it laying on the bottom. But also, we chummed a bunch last night, and they're definitely favoring the spots, the, the pieces of chum on the outside. They're not just going to the middle of it and opening their mouths, they're picking off the little pieces on the outside. I don't know why, that's just what they're doing. They're like zoning in on those specific pieces. So that's working really well for Keevan because his bait is kind of drifting off to the side. So in, in hindsight, maybe I would drill a different hole for chum and then a different one for jigging just to be on the outside of it rather than fishing the same holes you're jigging. But regardless, it's a learning opportunity and I think we're gonna catch a couple more. The video is not done. Oh, that's, oh, come on. Oh, he might have locked in on mine. Yes. Yes, yes, yes! Yes! We're hooked up! Do you want me to pull the camera? How does it feel? I don't think it's big based on how it's coming up. No, it's not huge. But we're hooked up, finally. My goodness, did we work. I think we got a little feeding window now. Don't feel horrible though. Oh, oh man. This is so long coming. Wow. We went to just a piece treble here. and a little piece of bait. Are you gonna grab him? I don't care how big this is, that is a nice... That's a nice trail. <laughs> <That's> a good... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is that is amazing feeling to, to finally, find, uh... finally hook up. Not a monster, but he's a beautiful fish and we worked hard for him. Oh yeah, that feels so good to <laughs> land a fish right now. <laughs> All right, he's just barely hooked on the nose. We'll yeah. uh, grab the pliers real quick. All right, one quick look and we'll release this baby. Always hold these fish horizontal. Support his belly. It's gonna go back. <laughs> Waving goodbye. Wow, did we work hard for that. <laughs> wow. Man. It feels I good. Yeah, I think there might be a couple fish down there. Yeah, there was a couple fish, I'm sure. Oh my <sighs> goodness. That took that took a while. That took way too long, but uh, I'm pumped about that, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what to say. Let's just get back down there. Yeah, Let's we got time. One. Anything could happen. <laughs> Anything could happen. There's been some more activity. We got water on the lens and all that excitement. <laughs> that feels good. That feels real good. <laughs> flight, 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 flight. Your rod's bending. Go, 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 go! Oh my goodness. Is it still on? Just real, don't, I don't think you need a big hook. Just real, real, real. Yeah, on. It's on? Yeah. Finally, the flag goes. Okay, we're gonna get the bump board open. It's bigger. It's bigger? Yeah. Oh. We've been waiting. That was insane. That was wild. So guys, we mentioned the last video, 30 seconds out of the water should be the maximum time with a fish. It's a little bit colder outside, we're gonna do even less. 
we're gonna hold that fish in the hole, unhook him, keep his head in the water, maybe throw him on the bump board if we want to bump board him, and he's gonna come out for five seconds, 10 seconds to get a shot and going right back down. <laughs> How's it feel now? Oh, he, he just had a little run there. Things are turning around. Ran in this with a bang. iFish Pro, Mr. Big, you got 50 pound braid on there. 25 pound leader. This was the Cisco, this was the smaller bait. We still haven't seen his leader, which is probably about a 15 foot leader, so a little ways yet. Clearwater Lake, baby, Evergreen Lodge. We're still at the leader, it might be big. Oh baby, what do we got? There's a lot of water moving. Come on. Oh, what the oh. fun. There we go, buddy. <laughs> we got him. That is a nice, nice fish. Okay, let's keep him in the water. We're gonna get the hooks out right now. Okay, hooks are out? Yeah. All right, give me a quick look, Keevan. This oh. is it. That is a clear water <laughs> hog right there, buddy. Let's get him on the bump. Get him on the bump for us. Oh, that's, that's longer than I thought. 36 inch, buddy. All right, one more look and he's going right back. Right there, hold him still. <laughs> yes, buddy, right there, that's it. That's okay, the let's fish. get him back. That's the fish. Wow, wow, what a Yes! Oh, he's ready. God! Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! We did it! Finally! Yes. We finally! Finally! Oh yes. my goodness! Yes! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's the one we've been looking at all Probably. day. Probably. That look with the big snub nose, that might have been the one that we were staring at. Guys, that ties my personal best. That's a PV 36 incher. That fish is released to be caught again. What an end to the trip. We battled. We battled. <laughs> Not to be too like, uh, make this too epic, but we worked so hard for that fish. If you saw the rod, we almost lost the rod. I'm speechless. I, it's almost a little emotional <laughs> after all these days of watching shows, near misses, miss hook sets, lost fish, and we oh. did it. I feel like crying. That's what, oh clear, my goodness. <laughs> that's what Clearwater Lake is all about. Oh, oh my goodness. Guys, I'm gonna use this moment to uh, end the tour. It might not be done, we're gonna fish till dark, but those fish are incredible resources and we need to do our best to protect them. And I mentioned in the last video, and I mentioned again, there's a couple things you can do. Proper rods, heavy tackle. Secondly, your fish handling. Fish shouldn't be out for more than 30 seconds. Have your gear ready. Hold those fish horizontally, support their weight. They're not meant to be held vertically. If it's colder, don't let them freeze. I, I don't know, what else did I miss? Just be prepared, guys. Help educate other anglers because that fish is gonna be caught again one day and it's gonna be 40 inches. Thank you guys for watching. Evergreen Lodge, Sharon's Viking Lodge. Thank you for being a part of the show tour. Thank you for Keevan for putting up with me for 10 days. Oh, it's been a blast, man. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's warm. Oh, <laughs> your hands must be just oh, done. They're done. <laughs> Nine days spent fishing in the north with my buddy Keevan could not have come to a more picture-perfect ending. While it maybe wasn't the success we originally imagined, it was a strong reminder to always keep your head up and that everything can change with one big bite. Woo! <laughs> my hand is back alive. Oh, oh, I think that was it. I think that's the one we saw. I'm happy for you. I'm so happy. <laughs>